Guys, we got our first place deck profile at the Collectible Exchange. Uh, here we got a Nintendo Switch, and those are the audience. Yeah. Uh, so how, how do you feel right now? Uh, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was expecting uh, a lot of uh, a lot of challenge today, and I did get a lot of challenge, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. All right, what were you on today? Uh, I was on Chaos Recruiter. Okay, yeah. okay, Recruiter. That's not bad. Yeah, putting, I, uh, back, putting, putting back to the name, dude. Yeah, I'm usually a warrior player. Like Chaos yeah. Warriors, love the deck. Uh, yeah. It's a like, easy deck that one for ones, but I, I feel like today I, I was like, I'm going to play something I'm really not known for. Yeah. Uh, but I know that I'm still good with. Okay, sure. All right, let's get into the deck football. Yeah, uh, so we got the one of BLS. Of course. Uh, staple. That's kind of I decided to run two Chaos Sorcerers okay. instead of three. I found three was kind of bricky. Uh -huh. uh, but even when I was going against like warriors I would side like one out yeah so uh, because I feel like their kaikus are just gonna be banishing my stuff anyways right but right, seeing right. one during warriors and having the material and not seeing kaiku I see yeah, yeah, yeah. so it looks like you anticipated people setting kaiku oh absolutely I, I anticipated warriors playing kaiku yeah so. so you basically set it out so that you basically what it's called uh I don't even know what the word is trick them yeah yeah, yeah kind of yeah, trick them uh and then for the recruiters I got three mystic tomato okay cool uh three shining angel wow so this is uh, definitely chaos recruiter yeah so i do got a lot of targets for the darks as well as angel okay uh i decided to bring in abyss soldier okay that's abyss really soldier was really great for clearing out that back row yeah but then also like clearing those set monsters that like chaos turbo tend to have uh -huh. or like any other deck that usually sets monsters okay but uh yeah i like to i like to have faith it's actually the only monster that like is a flip effect monster mm -hmm. in my deck okay so i noticed that like some like if they didn't see faith in like game one, yeah. they would side out their noblemen's because they think that the recruiters are just going to be in attack mode. Oh, so it's I free see. faith all day. I see. I see. Um, and then I got my one of sand. Oh, before you continue, how, how true was that theory? Like, did everybody actually set it out the cross out? I feel like they did. Oh, I mean, okay. some some people did leave in cross out, okay. but I like to play cross out in a way where like if I have a tomato in my hand and I yeah. have a faith, I'll set the tomato first yeah. to bait out the cross out, and then I'll play the faith. Oh, I see. All right, smart. Uh, so Sangan, I got yep. Sangan as a dark target, uh, Tribe, came in clutch, pairs with uh, Sinister Serpent. Sir, all the staples. Uh, one, of my, one of my main targets for uh, Sangan. Yeah, so uh, duel is uh, offline, basically. Absolutely. Uh, another one of DD Warrior Lady, uh, came in clutch. I actually went against my boy Cooley. He was on some, like, uh, Chaos Return stuff. Okay. This card came in clutch for him, dude. I think I yeah, you helped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a blow. You helped him a lot, dude. But um, another one of we got Spirit Reaper, Spirit Reaper, into a tomato into Spirit Reaper. Yeah. Into an open board. That's a minus one for them. Especially if that's a stronger monster. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, breaker staple. Uh, so the cool thing about Faith in the deck is I ran Tsukiyomi with it. Okay. Uh, to have that, like, Faith Tsuki loop, it never came up. Never came up. Because never you came two. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it did come in cl clutch in, like, the Warrior matchup. Yeah. Because, like, Tsukiyomi is just one of those cards that is just, like, a walking oh, book of moon. That's true. Uh, and then I brought in two Zabors. Okay. The only two Monarchs that I have in the main deck. Okay. Uh, Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it came up really good when... I was going against like decks that were like setting. I yeah. could like tribute off a recruiter, yeah. pop their set monster, and then uh -huh. attack in for 24. Yeah, that's damage. Uh, and then we got the Trinity, yep. Snatch, Premature, MST Heavy. Okay. Creature swap. I mean, you're playing recruiters. How did you feel about Premature since you're playing Chaos? Um, I found it to be, I misplayed <laughs> with yeah. it once in that one game, but uh, other than that, I mean, it was fine. Uh, yeah, I guess you do play the Zaborg, so you can just yeah, yeah. It off. Yeah, okay. and then it, it was just nice to have another monster on board when going in for game. Yeah. Uh, and then the two of Creature Swaps. Yep. Yeah, the Creature Swaps with the Recruiters. That, that, that play was always OP. Yeah. This play was always fire. Did you ever think about bumping up to three? or just? Uh, I think it's two and go. Two. Oh, it's a two? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm an Edison player. Sorry. Uh, is it three in Edison? I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, Creature Swap? Creature Swap's at three, I think. In Edison? It's a two and go. Three nuts, yeah, this, yeah. this guy's a go player, so I should trust him. <laughs> uh, brought in the Nobleman. And that's uh, a two for sure. That's definitely a two. Yeah. And honestly, like, I would always side it out going against Warriors, but yeah. Warriors right now is in a is a is in a place where they're bringing in like set monsters, yeah, like spies or Dekoichis or yeah. like uh, yeah. Fates. But I felt that like with what I had on board without these, I didn't I didn't need them. Yeah. Um. Three books. This is actually my only line of defense. Okay. Uh, 
and yeah i don't i see no traps yeah. so far so so i have a oh you do play traps i play one trap one good trap because i have the three decrees okay and okay. against warriors it always shut them down yeah unless they were able to get the decree off the board yeah i uh um, <laughs> I was kind of in a commanding position, yeah. but on the opposite end of the spectrum, because I don't really have anything protecting me. Right. Uh, yeah, book. I, Book's I, a, I have book. A weird protection. It, it, it's one way of protection, but yeah. I only have three of them. Yeah. Uh, and I like to use book like super versatile, so like I could use it for protection, or, or I could use it offensively yeah, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the main deck profile. Okay. Cool. Awesome. You want to go into your side deck? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And in, uh, in, in this tournament in particular. You're able to play an unlimited amount of side deck or extra deck. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so three cyber style. Okay. Uh, what what were these for? These are for any like alt wind decks. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like reasoning gate. Yeah. Uh, some deep mock loot, anything of those, I would uh. Go into bolter. Yeah, go go into. I'm sorry, not double Um. This guy right here. The last warrior, right? Yeah, last yeah. warrior from another planet. This basically just says find an answer to him. Yeah. Or lose. Or lose, yeah. Uh, ne it never, it never came up though. There was like one guy running like gate. Reason gate. Yeah. I see. Uh, and then for goat control, which I didn't go up against, and I think that would have been one of my harder matchups. I see. Because with creature swap and goats and stuff, yeah, they, they could, just chain it. Yeah, they just chain and then they take my monster, I and I, I have a. So you set up the creature swaps for that. I, I did. If I would have went against him, didn't go against him. I see. Though. I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Two Mobiuses, right. I cited those in for Warriors, or uh -huh. other monsters that had, or other uh, decks that had a lot of back row hate. More spell and trapping, um, yeah. I brought those in for Warriors as well. Uh -huh. It's basically uh, it's the biggest monster. It gets over whatever they have. Right. Uh, trades with Blade Knight. Uh, for Burn, which we never saw, more Warriors and then Chaos Turbo. Okay. Uh, the only loss I had this tournament no was traps. against... No traps. Yeah, because <laughs> of the decrees and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, Chaos Turbo was the only deck that beat me yeah. uh, this tournament. Uh, the guy was on, like, a random type of... It wasn't, right. like, real, I guess, like, standard. Yeah, it wasn't but standard. It wasn't but you were able to steal Chaos Sorcerers with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. VLS, Vanish yeah. itself. Yeah, face downs, all yeah. that good stuff. And the Smashing Grounds for the same reason, to get rid of those uh, Chaos Monsters? Uh, yeah, from time to time. Okay, so uh, it wasn't for any other I, I feel like monster. I'd bring them more so for, like, Warriors, at all, if, if anything. Or the Mirror Match or something. Or the Mirror Match, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. All right, yeah, well, congrats on your win, and this is the uh, this is the Switch. If you guys are interested in playing Go tournaments for Switch, uh, go to Collectible Exchange, it's on his shirt. Peace out, guys.